Um, so her weight became a discussion. No unattractive men because she is fine. All right. Guest host Just Nash. I don't know who that is. So here we go, y'all. That's free, honey. Why this is so. I've been. I've been. That's free, honey. Why this is so. I've been watching you for the longest. My sister put me on. Oh, so I, I love you. I stop. Oh. Okay. But, uh, wait, wait, hold on, girl. Can, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Wipe your screen. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always get oh, no. it's by the light. It's the way the light is. Okay. Oh, because the way you want the light to be, it's like a blur, honey. Maybe I should change rooms. Okay, that's fair. All right. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. This is so crazy because I always request, but I never get on. So. We've heard it all before. Shout out to Sunshine Anderson and shout out to the Quiet Storm here just in time. This could listen, Quiet Storm. I be trying to find y'all some wives, child. We trying to find out. Her weight became a discussion, okay? No unattractive men because she is fine, all right? Fine, all right? <laughs> well, you want to hear now, baby girl? What's your name? Good morning. Happy Thursday. What's your name, girl? Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina. What where you from? Chicago. Come on. Oh, I'm in Indiana, though. Chicago, close oh, enough. You and Gary now? No. Oh. <laughs> Hammond. Hammond. Okay, yeah. You, you, you down in Chicago. What's your age? I am 38. All right, 38. And what's your sign? I am a Virgo. Come on. Virgo. Yes. All right, Virgo. I'm a whole vibe, baby. Girl, girl, tell me about it. You boss too, probably. What you do for a living, Virgo? I am a student and I drive lifts. I'm a hustler, okay. baby. I'm a hustler. I'm a I'm a hustler, homie. I'm a hustler. I'm a I'm a hustler, homie. Child, is this gonna be worse than yesterday? Mm, mm, mm. I ain't hear how old she said she was. How old is she? Cause she a hustler. Girl, if you got anything with three in the name or anything past 30, 25, you need to stop. You know how you get. I am a single mom. I'm, uh, I provide for myself. I'm very independent. Okay. Uh oh, Lord. Strong and independent. I don't need a man. Strong and independent. I don't need a man. Uh, how many How many kids you got? I have one. Okay. How old? She is um, almost 16. Okay. So she's 15. Yeah. Nice. Um, Let's just get to it. What kind of man are you looking for? <sighs> Any. A man that knows what he wants. Um, of course, I said I'm a Virgo, and Virgo, a virgin. um, to me are um very lovable, and they love hard. Y'all love real so, hard. Yes. So whenever I meet somebody and date them, they're just not for me. I feel like I'm building a bear, and I'm tired of building a bear. Why? <laughs> Why, 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 why? I feel like I'm building a bear. The audacity. I feel like I'm building a bear. The bear is talking about feeling like building a bear. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm just trying to live my life. No one taught me about cars. I'm, I'm all out of that. So um, he uh, pre she being the person that I am, I'm ready to to uh, expand. Like these guys is. <laughs> Why do they do this to me? Shout out to Tyrese. What more do you want from me? She said, "Expand, ma'am." The jokes write themselves, child. The jokes write themselves. They date different. When you say they different, I don't think, well, I think women really require enough these days. Like, I was out of the dating scene for a while. Um, I had got engaged, and it didn't work out. But it's like when you get back into the dating pool, like, guys are different. And when was your last relationship? I'm sorry to cut you off. When was it? Mm -hmm. Um... Two, two years ago, a little bit over two years ago. Y'all, I'm looking at this woman, and uh, and what is going on right now, y'all? What what is going on right now, y'all? Why am I thinking about? Do y'all know who Droopy is? 
Do you know who Droopy the dog is? It's a cartoon from way back in the day. Loved, loved, loved Droopy. Why is that all I'm thinking about and seeing? What is going on right now? And you know I'm looking at the background. It looked like um, Grandma's Gone Wild House in the back here, okay, from what I can see. She over here talking all this sugar, honey, ice, and F and T, looking like Droopy with a wig on. Good effing bye. Wear your neck, ma'am. You already know ain't no daggone collarbone, but I'm trying to understand where your neck at. Talking all this, uh, the engagement didn't work out. Girl, good effing bye. We, don't, we do not care. We do not care. It don't count. It don't matter. All right? This is... Hoosa, hoosa. What are your deal breakers, honey? Um, liars, cheaters, manipulators. Um, just a, a guy that don't know what he wants, not driven. And why did you? Why, why did you not get married? Uh, he grew down. I felt like we we didn't match like we did. He changed up his whole um energy. It was just like. I hear there's no reason. That's what I hear. No reason. We were in different places. So we agreed. To yeah, he went down. I think that probably he lost weight. That's what I'm hearing. I could be wrong. Allegedly. I'm just saying he went down. Girl, what does that mean? Girl, did he lose his jobs? Can you speak English like an adult? Uh, separate and just be cool. Okay. Okay, agree to separate and be cool. Okay, so, um, God, Nisha. Do they have to look a certain way? Your new boo? I, I don't want him to, I don't want him to be, uh, unattractive. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying I want a pretty boy, but I, I, I'm beautiful. I'm <laughs> Just left Bible study, child. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, child. Shout out to the squeegee kid for the support. He said, nah, her deal breaker is dieters. And it is. And that's why, that's probably why the man left. Assuming, allegedly, I do not know. The man said, uh-uh, I'm losing some weight. And she was like, uh-uh. You can't do that. You can't do that. What did I say? Because you probably got to run the business through me. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You heard what I said? Because I'm going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. I'm going to tell you. Say like I'm a thick bitch. Like a bitch with her own shit. I ain't never been a broke bitch. I've been having... I might not be the prettiest woman in the world, but I'm very, you know what I'm saying, on that level for me. So I want him to... What's uh, that level for you that you're on? A vibe, baby. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, look, I am, look, I am a, a, I'm a big girl, but I'm fine. And can't nobody tell me nothing different. Big fine. And that's the problem right there. That's the problem right there. See, this is what I'm talking about, right? And that's fine. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. But when people like us going to talk about what the what it really is, like you can be fat. We do not care. We fat phobic over here. I ain't got a problem with saying it. The T.I. is what the T.I. is. Shout out to whoever asked me what that means. It is what it is, is what that means. But what we're not going to do is sit up here and act like you just got it going on, man. Uh, we see the background. Stop it. Okay. We can't even see your neck, ma'am. I mean, you can say whatever it is that you want. It is what it's going to be. But you put this mess out here, as always. So we're going to talk about it. And we are judging. Shout out to the chat and the squeegee kid. Thank you again. He said, for real, though. Salute to the toilet. That <laughs> Salute to the toilet that sees that coming. But that is the truth. Like, what size fit is going to fit all that ass? All right. What size is going to fit all that ass? 
You got to have an extra large or something like that. It can't be a regular toilet. It can't be like an apartment grade F toilet. All right. It got to be broke if that's the case, child. I want a guy who, you know, who so feels he like... to be tall, short, he uh, oh. skinny, hefty. I don't want him too tall because uh, I am four, four eleven and a quarter. You're 4'11"? Oh, <laughs> You're 4'11"? I'm 4'11 and a quarter, yes. Shorty, big so, fan. Yes. I'm not sure. so much like, I don't want him too tall where I have to just completely look up to him. So, does he got to make a certain amount of money? No, but I do want him to uh, be established, have a job, um, want more or doing better, you know? All right. So, let's do, let's look at her face, and that is definitely a wig, child. I, child, 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 child. We got some 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 spiders on. Maybe we do. There's a lot of spiders that make up and weave lately. Like seriously, shout out to the squeegee kid. He said that necklace is a belt on a. <laughs> the necklace is a belt on a normal size person. Oh my god! I don't even think I noticed that until you just now said that. Because you can't even tell she got a daggone neck. This is a hot FMS. You can. That's why she came on here because she said, "You're not gonna tell me. You're not gonna tell me that I don't look good because I know I look good. You're not gonna tell me." So. To the Kendrick and money. All right, back oh. it on up. Uh, you really caught me on the day, honey. Back that. Damn, I think she just hit me with them boobs. What the hell? Them boobs is all the weight right there. It's her head, her droopy head, and them boobs. Woo, child. Shout out to um Chantel and Simone. Them titties, child. Get up. Girl, you look good. Won't you back it up? Oh, my shirt. I had on the belly top, girl. I'm going to get the titties out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> what that is? Ah, I... <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Okay, catch your can. We see. I don't want y'all to miss all this. I don't want y'all to miss all this. Okay, we're gonna make sure we do it frame by frame. She got some. She got some. Um, some spiders right here on the tatas. Okay, you go, girl. You go, girl. Come on, child. Come on. Let's go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let. Ooh. Mm. Yo, did you see that arm? <laughs> oh my God. Did you see that arm, y'all? Oof. Oof. <laughs> Shout out to Aaron Hines. He said, I bet she makes a good potato salad with those arms. I'll have to make some now that you mentioned it. Oh my goodness, y'all. Mmm, mmm, look at the other one, y'all. Look at the other one. Mmm, woo! Look at the hole right here. I mean, I know it's a half shirt. She at home with the half shirt on. Okay, you go, girl. You go, girl. It certainly do look like Granny's house in the background. Look at this, all right? Not modern at all. You no, know, to each his own, to each his own. Come on, child. Mmm, woo! <laughs> 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 oh my gosh i can't take it i cannot take it yo what is that circumference right there ah ooh, child mm, mm, mm. what size is that y'all what size is that you can't you can't you cannot make this shit up no, you cannot, Godfather. You cannot. I cannot. This is too much. Come on, child. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, look at the arms from this direction, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Shout out to Kendra. <laughs> you can't tell her. You can't tell her. You're not going to tell her. Look at that hair. Did you see that hair, child? A hot effing mess, okay? I'm going to get the titties out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> what that is? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Okay, catch your can. We see you, boo. Yes. This is what you get. I'm beautiful and I'm proud. 
I love it. As you should Listen, be. I love your confidence. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think, and I'm going to say this as sensitive as possible, um, the type of guy you attract, do you think if you lost a little bit of weight, you would attract a different type of guy? I know I have, because I have before. Uh, but no, I'm so confident. Like, I can grab any guy. I've never had a problem meeting guys. The thing is... When we do get to a certain level, they don't really. Well, that's but, but, they, but that's the challenge, right? I think all women, if you have a vagina, you're gonna always be able to have sex, right? Like all men tell me this. So, but it's not about just but having sex. You it's want really somebody. about attracting the guy that you want. So, right with with, with, that's with the guy you want, are you able to attract the guy you want? I would because date. Can... I would date. Date. We could go out. We could do this. We could do that. But. These guys, I, I don't know, they turn into liars. And that's probably... So just completely ignore what Kendra is saying to go back in and say that it's all his fault. It's all Jermaine's fault, basically. These guys, these guys... These guys be, these guys be like, ma'am, you totally just ignored what the hell it is that Kendra was asking you to talk negatively about guys. Then wonder why maybe you got issues with guys, because that's probably what you do typically when you get around guys, right? Shout out to the squeegee kid. He says she breaks chairs, stairs, cars, bars, tables, toilets, you know. I knew that's where you were going with this. Shout out to the squeegee kid. I appreciate you. Shout out to the quiet storm. Thank you so much for the support. He said, rest in peace. Rest in peace to, I'm sorry, rest in peace to her front car rotors and shocks. She better be in a truck. She better be in a truck. We knew she was going to come out here talking about, I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. Okay, girl, because she, she basically saying she do not care. Cool. And we do not care either, child. Me, because I love her. And, um, uh, but when I find out you lied, that's it. I'm like, that's such a deal breaker for me. Like, I don't feel like I have to settle for less. Okay. And I'm not going to. I'd rather be by myself. Hell, I was born by myself. Well, there you go, ma'am. There you go. I mean, there's somebody for everybody, so you never know. Maybe she'll find someone. Never say never. Never say never. Let's see something real quick. Mm, mm, mm. Now, tell me I'm lying. That's not who she look like. That's not who she look Y'all... Child, this is about to be on the daggone thumbnail. Look at this one. Come on, Droopy. Look at that. Come on now. Come on now. Shout out to Droopy Dog. I'm sorry, sir. I still love you, Droopy. So why do you think you're single? If you vibing. These guys are not, they not stepping up. What are the top three, three, three things you think a man wants in a woman? Uh, top three. They should want confident, driven, and beautiful okay you got one out of three right top three beautiful is first fit feminine and submissive right yeah okay. oh, ooh, who this host who this host she want to smoke whoever this host is she said i want all the smoke biggie 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 smalls in the house he she said uh-uh child what we not gonna do mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh, oh that's a problem because if you're not being submissive to me i'm not doing the same ooh. for you I love that. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you this, too. This ain't Kendra B's question. This is a personal question. I just want to know. What do you think your top three flaws are when it comes to relationships? Uh, good question, child. Oh, I like her. Get her to start a new show, because Kendra, mm, she about to overtake your damn show. Come on, child. Answer the question. Yeah, be honest. Not, not for a man. No. Oh, your flaws. What are your flaws? You as a person. We, this self-accountability. You heard her say, for a man. For me, she was ready to give up all the flaws for men, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what she say about herself. My hair is too dry. This shirt should be washed. And my feet it got crust on them and I need a pedicure. I get bored easily. Okay. Um, I... Mm. I could I could probably do more as far as like um working on myself, even though I'm self-confident, there's just stuff about me, like my health-wise, that 
I just be, I, sometimes I get a little lazy when it comes okay. to Girl, sometimes, child, please, you hear it's basically crickets, right? Sorry about that. It's basically crickets. Because they don't think they have any flaws. They don't do anything wrong. It's you, gentlemen, okay? S-Y-C-B-M. S-Y-C-B-M. Like that. Okay. Well, I don't really That's cool. And one more, girl. Come on. We all got flaws now. We got to oh. kind of go uh, lazy. You could be, uh, <laughs> what's the first? And then one more. Uh, um, I picked the wrong guy. <laughs> there ain't no damn flaw. Now go and ask her what's wrong with the men. Crusty, dusty, musty, rusty, ashy, like running it off. Interesting how that works. That is a great question. Uh I need to figure out who this lady is so I can go follow her damn show. You you picked the wrong guys. Okay. Um, but are, are you picking the wrong guys or are you dealing with the guys that are picking you? Uh I don't let guys pick me. So you pick the guys. I am if I see something I want, I grab, and that's probably a me thing. Well, that's I'll the problem probably... because the guy has to pick because that means he desires it. If you're going after a guy, you don't know if he really wants you or not. If, if you're the initiator. I just feel like if a guy um, don't, doesn't take to what I'm saying, then they shouldn't go forward. How old are you, honey? I'm 38. Do you want, do you, you, do you have kids? I have one daughter. How old are you? Mm -hmm. 16. 16. 16. Will you date a guy that has kids? Yeah. Okay. As long as he is a good provider, he take care of his kids. I don't have a problem with that. Because okay. I love kids. I would like to have more kids. Oh, I forgot the cousins. What was your last relationship? Uh, uh, a little bit over two years ago, it was the guy I was engaged with. That's the most mm -hmm. When was last time? So it's 18. She had a kid when she was 18, and now she's 36. Mm hmm. Confident, child. Confidence. I mean, he had sex. You don't have to answer. I would like to know. Uh, <laughs> a few weeks ago. Uh, okay, he's not an option. He is an option, but at the same time, I'm giving him time to work on himself. And while he's doing that, I'm not going to close the doors because... Why is she having sex with a man that needs to work on himself? They tell on themselves, y'all. They tell on themselves. Then when it don't work out because you accept you accepted him how he was, even though you're talking about he need to work on himself, you still sleeping with him. Then she'll end up pregnant, allegedly. And then he's crusty, dusty, musty and rusty, even though you're going ahead and you are sleeping with a man that you're basically saying does not have whatever the hell it is that you're looking for. He got to work on himself. So what was the point in all that big old list of what it is that you want? I don't know. If she got to it when you're sleeping with a man that ain't got what you want come on now stop come on now they tell on themselves this is half damn crap wash rinse repeat it's the same old always find a way to f making a baby um i ain't gonna put not taking care of it on her but it definitely is wash rinse repeat child wash rinse repeat a hot mess, I swear. Shout out to Seriously Short of Normal in the building. Appreciate you for the support. He said, I have expected her to demand Bob Fett bring her the Wookiee. <laughs> oh my God, is that from Star Wars? Or is it from, or is it, um, because I know Obsidian says the Wookiee weave. Oh my God, that commercial is so funny. Bob, Boba Fett. Boba Fett bring her the Wookiee. Child. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody need to bring Droopy something to. I'm not even gonna call her Droopy because that's an insult to Droopy. Uh, my king might be there somewhere. I can't close the door on that one person. Okay. okay. Uh, why would a guy be lucky to? Uh, yeah. Why would a person be lucky to be with you? Because I'm a vibe. Girl, ain't that much vibe in the world. Give us some real. It is. Now. I promise. I got Virgo vibes in it. Oh, I like this girl. Can she please come and get her own daggone show? Because that'll be a good show. She ain't putting up with this BS. She said, be serious now. Virgo oh, are bossy and, uh, and, uh, no, and no. They, they try to control everything. So that might be. No, nice. we That's have cool. to have the last and day. And That's I think probably that a problem, problem for men. You can't have the last day if you want a man. Me and leave. But they want to. Me and leave. Yeah. So they're not going to be with no woman who thinks she's the boss. And that's just fine. Okay, you can ask any man to leave. Sort of walk beside me. I don't want to be behind him. No, it's not or, that. It's man leave. And you have to listen they, to men when we're talking about this. Yeah, so you can't listen to, to women. They, got, they have to give me reasons 
to let them be the lead. All right, girl. I've been you leading. Have... You can't tell them. Y'all, have I been wrong yet? Like, seriously. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You heard what I said? Because I'm going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. I'm going to tell you. Say like I'm a thick bitch. Like a bitch with her own shit. I ain't never been a broke bitch. I've been having... You can't tell them. You, they don't listen. They won't listen. They got it all. They know it all. They got everything going on. And then when they on the Super 8 Motel on the damn TV, we supposed to say, oh, oh, oh. And this is the precise reason why. Ain't nobody saying that you got to be no, um, what would you call it? A slave, Okay. But damn it, you over here talking all the sugar, honey, iced tea, looking half damn crazy. You the one saying that you need a man. I don't want a man. I don't need a man. But you want a man. Okay. And then you saying that the dude is, is uh, you sleeping with is not up to your standards, but you're sleeping with him. You're telling on yourself, ma'am. But when someone like this woman is trying to tell you a thing or two, you know it all, you know it all, you know it all, you know it all. Well, know it effing all, okay? And when, like, I could be alone, we'll be alone. Then why are you on the show? You don't. You can be alone because by default, you're gonna be alone, but you don't want to be alone or you wouldn't be on this show. What, they think we stupid? No, no, no. Okay, go I can tell, and this happens a lot with a lot of women, because y'all been doing this for three years, that you are stuck in your way. So let me ask you this. Would that's a good way thank you kendra stuck in her ways to their own detriment and that's why we do not care so does a guy have to honor what you desire or if not you are okay with being by yourself absolutely i'm very okay with being by myself i'm by myself now okay so, okay so i mean like i always feel like you can stick to your guns on anything if you're willing to deal with the consequence and the consequence could be there's no man that's going to sign up for that. And if, and if you're fine with that, then you keep on going on. But if you desire companionship in any way, then Ooh. there might be certain things that you can adjust if you want said men, or you just deal with the men who are willing to deal with you. But it seems like those men, you don't really like that much. I so in other words, you're going to do what you're going to do and you're going to keep getting the results that you're getting, even though you know dad's going, well, you want something different, but you're not trying to change and do something differently. And so finally, Kendra is basically saying without saying it, she don't care either. I just feel like it's worth the, com it's, if I feel like it's worth the compromise, then I'll go for it. That's, that's just me. Now, and I'm not saying your clothes that right, you're not but, taking accountability from. Even I, I definitely would take the time if I feel like I'm wrong about something. I definitely will say it. Yeah. I'm not. I don't have a problem. But it's just the thing that a lot of times I'm right. Girl. Yeah. Wah 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 wah. She ain't saying a damn thing. Shout out to live from New York for thank you so much for the support. He said, "Let's be positive though." She got nice teeth. Well, there you go. Thank you so much. You are absolutely right. She ain't got no gap like Grandma's Gone Wild did. Okay, she ain't got no huge forehead like like Tawny did or Brawny, whatever her name was. Now, mind you, we can't see her neck, but you know that's something different. So she. She got some nice teeth. She got a cute smile. You know what? You are absolutely right. Thank you for the positivity. I always want to make sure that we point out some positivity. Appreciate you. I agree. You got the bad dog. Okay. Oh, but no. <laughs> just playing. That's what Kevin said. Um, did we have anything else? Um, um, no, that's it. Get her, get her Instagram. Okay. Please. Well, you definitely a vibe, girl. Give us uh, how to reach you. You said over. Um, you did that. No, just give the guy how they can reach. How you. they can reach you? As you uh, my Instagram is Foxy Brown Eyes thirty two. That's F O X X Y B R O W N E Y E S thirty two. Okay, I'm gonna.
Yeah. Just scream. Just sometimes I scream. And please talk. don't come to my DM with BS because I'm not on it. I'm gonna shut you down real fast. She okay. shut. She shut. Thank the you. Down. Period. Don't play with her. She a vibe. All right. Girl, ain't nobody coming to your DMs like this. Is this what I'm talking about? See, but you know you can't tell them nothing. Mm -hmm. Then they be out here crying on TikTok. Shout out to the Squeegee Kid for another 4.99. He said Kendra sporting her Super Mario. Super Mario turns to the dark side hat. Mm, mm, mm. You be coming up with some stuff, I swear. But y'all already know what we about to do. Y'all already know what we about to do. Chop. Mm. Someone seeking love, real love. None of that defines me. Y'all concentrate on the wrong shit. And half y'all out there ain't even happy anyways. How are y'all judging me off of what y'all done heard and 10 to 15 minutes. Y'all don't know me. And I Child, here we go. Here we go with the same old, same old. Now you mad. And she not like mad, like fire and mad, but she feeling some kind of way from the feedback that she's getting. That's what you get when you put yourself out here. Now she want to talk sugar, honey, iced tea. Now y'all project back. Y'all mad. Y'all miserable. Y'all, 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 y'all. Shout out to uh, Busta. Girl, mm -hmm. this is what you get. Thank you. Understand something about me. My weight does not define me as a person, as a human being, as a big woman, as uh, someone seeking love, real love. None of that defines me. Y'all concentrate on the wrong shit. And half y'all out there ain't even happy anyways. How are y'all judging me off of what y'all done heard in 10 to 15 minutes? Y'all don't know me and I don't care. I'm still a vibe. Thank you. She drinking it up. Nice, nice hair, child. Mm, this this jacket over here is seen better days, child. Mm. <gasps> Mac oh! <laughs> Shit. Aaron Hines, didn't you say macaroni and cheese? I can't stand y'all. I cannot, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I ain't even gonna front. It do look good. It do look good. It got shrimp in there. It's got shrimp in there. It's got some broccoli up in there, up in there. Mm, mm, mm. She can cook, y'all. She gonna make y'all some dinner, child.